89. Wait, what's this one up here? Dollar 89 as well. Dollar 85. I can't read it. Alright, so, welcome back to the channel. Doing something a little bit different today. Kara is with her, I guess you have me friends. It was her old boss, or it is her old boss. Um, sorry, I'm Jackson. Uh, there he is. Um, so anyway, so she is with her friends today. They went to a, I think it was like a cookie baking class. Something like that. So, it's just me and Jax. Hey. Your mom sees this, she'd be pissed. Quit jumping. No. You want a treat? You want a treat? Let's go get a treat. Stay down. So, I'm gonna go get him a treat. I'm gonna lock the doors because I'm about to head to the gym. So, let's go get him a treat. Okay, I'll get it. All right. Yeah, he's been doing that a lot lately. It's like he's trying to talk at it. Talk at you, sorry. Oh, treat. Get my stuff in the gym, and then yeah, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and leave. I'm trying to make it time it just right, so by the time I get there, I can run, get that over this, and then work out with the uh, my buddy. So, Jack, too much treat. Too much treat. Get in your crate. Get in your crate. Come on. Will you drop a piece, bud? Get in your crate. Good boy. Stay. Grab your toy. Oh, I don't want you eating that one. Give this to Jax. Mostly because we just moved in here. I don't trust people. And friends of ours will tell you that they know that about me. So, well, and plus our first day we moved in here, we were cutting down a tree outside and our neighbor came by just to introduce herself. And she was an older lady. Um, and basically the first thing she said is don't leave your vehicles unlocked or anything unlocked because people will steal them and steal stuff out of your vehicles. So, it doesn't make you feel any better. Sorry, I'm in a frame a little bit. Trying really hard to be like work on, I guess talking in like in front of the camera. I'm not really good at it because I don't really do it that much. So, but, right. so, I'm gonna grab that and wallet and keys and so we will see you at the gym hello guys it's the first time you're seeing my face in this vlog and i couldn't look more ridiculous um i did not sleep very well last night and i am not putting on makeup because i'm not really going anywhere today that requires makeup so this is what you get um Caleb vlogged a little bit yesterday. Uh, I just went back and played those clips. And um, I noticed he, he said something about what I was doing yesterday. So I was at a cookie decorating contest. And I will show you my cookies. Um, I went with my 
well, she's now my ex-boss, I guess. She's not my boss anymore, but um, she's one of my really good friends now. So her and then one of my coworkers, we went to this con or the um, decorating class, and um, it was at a winery, but obviously no wine for me. Um, so yeah, um, it was really fun. But then I came back home, and I was literally so exhausted yesterday. Like Caleb wanted to go get donuts yesterday morning which you saw in the beginning of this vlog oh my gosh he made me wake up at 7 45 just to go get donuts which i love donuts so i'm not complaining about the donuts part but oh man i was so exhausted yesterday just from like going and going and then coming home and um we ended up getting dinner and then um yeah i watched frozen 2 and i was just laying on the couch and i was so tired so I really didn't vlog yesterday just because of that. Um, and I didn't vlog last weekend because I started a new shift at work and uh, I was so exhausted. Like, I don't know, I just, I didn't really have anything. So I was like, I'll just skip a video this week, um, which really, really sucks for both me and you guys. I know that's really sucky, so I'm sorry. This lighting is like super bright. Um, so yeah, um, we are going to go to run a few errands, but nothing like super crazy. Um, I am really dying to get a pregnancy pillow because my back hurts so bad when I sleep at night, which is a reason why I did not sleep last night. I also had a headache, so I just would wake up in the middle of the night and my head was still hurting. So um, we are going to go to Bed Bath & Beyond downtown because... That's the only one that has pregnancy pillows in stock. So I'm going to see if I can buy it online and then go pick it up in the store. And then we need a new paper shredder because the one we have has just turned into like complete junk. So we just need to go pick up those two things. And then I really think that's all we're going to do today. The baby's moving right now. It's so weird. Um, but yeah, so that's all we're going to do. But side note, I just want to say that I think it's hilarious when Caleb can feel the baby because like I guess I missed a video last week so within the past like few weeks baby has been like kicking much harder and um last week for the first time Caleb felt it um well and I we both felt it on the outside for the first time and then like the night before last it was moving around and it just like created this huge bulge on the side of my stomach and Caleb was like oh my gosh it looks like a tumor like he was like so freaked out but we both think it's so cool you know so um it was doing that and then last night it's always when i lay down which makes sense but um i was laying down for bed and caleb was still out here on the couch and um i i noticed the baby started moving around and then it was kicking and so i texted caleb from bed and i was like hey the baby's moving and he's like, oh, really? And so I said, yeah, you can come feel it. Like, it's hard enough for you to feel. And so he came in there, and it stopped. And then he was about to leave the room again, and I was like, wait, it's doing it again. So he came back over, and he put his hand on my stomach. And, like, probably 15 seconds later, the baby kicked so hard. Like, both he and I felt it. And I literally watched my stomach, like, bulge out. And he was like, oh my gosh, like he freaks out. He's like, that's so creepy. Um, I know he thinks it's cool though, like, you know, cause that's our baby, but yeah. He was just like, oh my gosh, like I just find it so funny. So um, I will try to get it on film at some point um, <laughs> so that you guys can see his reaction. Cause I think it's so funny. Um, but yeah, so I'm waiting for Caleb to get home and then we're gonna run those errands and then we'll see what okay, else. So I have not vlogged very much and partly that's because we really haven't had a lot to do um, because we've really just been like trying to, I guess, prepare for this virus thing. Hang on. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, we really haven't done much because we've been trying to like find groceries because everyone's freaking out. And we Sorry. literally just needed like some groceries. So Caleb's been to like five different stores. People, we need groceries because we need groceries, not yeah. because we want to stock up and be douchebags. Okay, and anyways. Rolls of toilet paper. Um, so Caleb's been to like 15 different stores. No one had anything. So the commissary restocked this morning, or well, yesterday, 
and they opened at 6 30 this morning so in order for us to literally just get groceries Caleb had to go to the store at 6 30 this morning and Caleb he didn't get home until bed. like nine o'clock because the lines were so long I so at the store for an hour and a half then we had to go to the DMV to get our um, stuff, switched stuff switched over. So now we have Arkansas plates and license. And um, now we're at Target like 35 minutes away to pick up the stroller and the car seat that someone bought off the registry. So we're going in because I have to work in like an hour. Yeah, it's not comfortable as a lazy boy. So what we'll <laughs> do though. About to flip <laughs> it goes back really far. I know. <laughs> and it swivels when that box isn't it's in the way. It's weird because it's like this seat is so springy. Yeah, it, it is. Like suck you in like a lazy boy does. Well, yeah, it's because it's not a lazy, lazy boy. No, it's not. Okay, so we're trying to figure out if we should open this because it was made in China. But this is. But it was made manufactured was in November. November of last year, yeah. 19th of last year. So, yeah. So this is what we got. I'm really excited. It has the. It doesn't show it on there. Um. Doesn't oh. show. It. Oh, okay. Yeah, right here. You can do. You can put the car seat in there, or you can do the bassinet, or just the toddler stroller. I really want to open it. All right, are you ready? I'm excited.
popping wheelies. <laughs> okay, so we got it all figured out. This is a toddler seat, but it's also the bassinet, and I really think that we'll be using the bassinet a lot because this is just kind of a pain in the butt to take around. And the main reason that I wanted this set was for the bassinet. Um, so this comes up. And then the baby just lays in there all buckled up. Mm -hmm. And it's so cute. Look at you being a dad. <laughs> and then this is the car seat. Got all this stuff in there, but it's pretty comfortable. This is like the real, um, I can't get that to go up, but this is like the real, uh, what is it? I don't know. It kind of feels like moisture working material. Yeah, it's really nice. And then I'm gonna take that down. This around here is like that same fabric. And this is a little more comfortable, but it's like more stiff. So. Ta-da! Yeah. We didn't try to look at what it looks like with the toddler seat because um, <clears throat> we're not going to be using that for a while. But on the box, it does show like what it will look like with the toddler. One thing I like about this is show them how it comes closer to you. So this is one thing I like. And it can come... Yeah, I guess you could just pull on it if you wanted to. But it, it comes like all the way up. So yeah, if it needs to be closer, or like all of these can go rear facing or front facing. So obviously as the baby's little, it's going to be rear facing just because we can see it. And people, and people yeah, are weird. So, I'm excited. It's like super early to open this, but I was like dying to open it. So Like every other great thing in America is made in China. Yeah. We were kind of debating. We were like, but do we open this or do we not? It was manufactured November of last year, so I feel like if it had anything on it, I mean, it would already died on the surface. It's been yeah. in the States probably for a couple December. months. Yeah. Stupid coronavirus. Fucker. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to put this up. And <clears throat> I got to go to work soon. Caleb's off today because stupid coronavirus. Yeah, so we're doing minimal manning. So, this vlog has been, like, really random, but it is what it is. Sorry I haven't posted lately. I'm slacking. Yeah, but, slacker. But I've just been, you know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to end the video, and um, eventually I will probably do, like, a full-on review on this set. But, um, obviously I can't use it yet, so I don't want to do it. I cut your head off, um, without kind of... Yeah, we still got, what, five months? Yeah, until August. So, alright. Going to end this video. We will see you in the next one. Your head is cut off, and now mine is. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.